two types of guys. There's kennel guys and there's field guys. Mm -hmm. There's some guys you can walk in and tell them, hey man, put your elbow here, point the bat here, feel it, you know, get this, get this weight on your backside and go. And they'll be like, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so enlightening. And then there's guys like me, you walk in and tell, like the field guy, you walk in and tell him that he's like, he's looking at you like you're speaking Chinese. And then, yeah. you know, you start talking about a feel and he's like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to feel. And they feel it and they yeah. go. As a young kid, 9, 10, 11, 12, those ages, my dad would get us in the cage on a tee. We'd get five swings. Yeah. Five swings, walk out. Huh. And it, every swing, quality over quantity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that became, you know, that, that made the mechanics and, you know, the muscle memory more consistent. You know, I went through a rough spell where I felt like everything was just kind of out of sync. The hitting coach there, uh, Wally Joyner, he just said, hey man, what have you done in the past? And I was like, you know, I've, you know, I've been hitting the cage. He's like, well, why don't you do that? From that moment on, I don't step on the field to hit BP because for me, it's, I do my T work and if I feel something, I step back, I take my time. You know, I, I try to feel something and I step back in, take another swing. When you're down there grinding for that feel, man, yeah. like some days, like I, I got to the point where there's some days I just politely lay my bat down, walk out, yeah. and say today's today's a grind day. I got I got to grind against that guy. But yeah. those days that I, I find that feel mm -hmm. and I walk out there, that guy's in trouble. Most of the time when you're in the hole, everybody gets their stuff on it. Like yeah. me, I. I kind of chill for a little bit and wait kind of as long as possible. I let the guy get into his, his at bat and then, you know, I kind of turn my back and go get my stuff ready. And, but I do that because when I step into the on-deck circle, that's an extension of my bat. Yeah. I'm getting my timing. Yeah. I'm watching the pitches. Yeah. Like, I, I, I try to lock in from the minute he throws the pitch to the guy in front of me to the end of my at bat. Yeah. I want to know. You know, obviously, my guy swung early in the count. You know, I want to know. I want to know everything about his at bat. Yeah. Not that that guy's gonna get pitched like me, yeah. but I want to. Like, I'm entrenched in the situation of the game. Yeah. Like, I want to. I want to have purpose for my at bat when I walk up there. Yeah. And I'm. I'm usually batting in the middle of the lineup. People want me to drive the ball all over the place, yeah. but I'm always thinking the game. How can. How can we push this run across? Yeah. So if I have to move somebody, or you know. Yeah. I'll, I'll have a, I'll have in the back of my mind, you know, how I'm going to move this guy, or, you know, if I, I need to drive him in, whatever, whatever it might be. But from the minute I'm in the on deck circle, I'm thinking the game, I'm watching the pitcher. Like I try to lock into my bat as much as possible. I'm, I'm the next man up, and my team needs me. Yeah. So like, You're I, yeah, I'm competing. So I, I, I lock in from, you know, my bat is it starts in the on deck circle. When, when I bring my bat up and I look at it, like, I, I always read my name. I, I always your name. I always read my name. Okay. And in that moment, for some reason, when I read my name, just, yeah, yeah, you, you know, I like, read my name, take a breath, and like it's it's kind of a mind, like you said, a mind clearing thing, like, yeah. and then you know I lock in, and I, 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 I didn't always do that when I started doing it. Yeah. It became a habit because it puts me it puts me in my spot, man. Well, I've always used a 34 inch bat. Yeah. Weight's fluctuated, but I'm gone. Well, I started at 34, 31. Yeah. 34, 31 and a half for most of my career. Yeah. I've even used as much as 33, I used 32. We're, we're creatures of habit, man. Yeah. And whatever feels good to you is, as much as you try, like, you, you could force yourself to change. Mm -hmm. You could force yourself, and, and you could never you know tell yourself you're never using that bat again but yeah that's the only way you're gonna do it but in the crunch time whatever feels good to you you're gonna go to i used to, I, I used to be like oh well you, you start thinking ahead you're like oh well if i hit a homer right here game's over the if you're gonna win some you're gonna lose some all i can focus on is, is that is that single at bat and i tell myself i'm either gonna get it done or i'm not